For the glide reflection, you will have to cut out a parallelogram. Cut out the parallelogram that is just a parallelogram and not a rhombus or a square. Again, number the sides, one, two, three, four. On to side four, draw an asymmetric shape. And cut out that shape. A glide reflection is like a translation and a reflection mixed together. We're going to take the piece that we cut out of side four and translate it to side two. But once we get to side two, we're going to reflect that piece over. If you notice, the parallelogram is gray, and once I flip over the piece that I cut out, I can see the white back of that parallelogram. Tape that piece that we cut out of side four and glide reflect it onto side two onto your parallelogram. The tile that we just created will tessellate the plane. Let's trace out the shape to show how it tessellates. If I want to tessellate around this vertex, I can't just line up this piece like this. In order to get this tile to tessellate, I need to glide reflect my entire tile. When I glide reflect my entire tile, I can see that this cutout piece lines up. Now to continue to tessellate around this vertex, I'm just going to translate my tile to the right and trace it. And then to fit it right here, I'm going to have to take my tile translate it up, and reflect it. So I'm doing a glide reflection with my tile. This shape with the glide reflection from side four onto side two tessellates around the plane. If I kept this pattern going, I could tessellate all the way across the plane. The notation for a glide reflection. We started on side four, we ended on side two, but instead of just doing a normal translation, we did a glide reflection. So I'm going to use a line with two arrows, but this time a dashed line. On my tile, I can draw that in from side four to side two with a dashed line. Tape that tile onto your paper.